Hello guys, once again welcome back to Daku VFX Studio. In this video, I am showing how to CGI work or VFX work using Unreal Engine. For that, I am using this footage shooter with a green screen. First up, we need to remove the background. I am using DaVinci Resolve for that. You can use Adobe After Effects like softwares. For that, I am opening the DaVinci Resolve Fusion page and drag the image to here and change the timeline settings as like uh, the video. Now I am adding a delta gear for removing the background. Uh, so click here and and use the key shift space for Mac and control space for Windows. Now you get this menu here. You can search Delta key. Okay, add a Delta key. Now click the Delta key. Here you can see the inspector. In inspector you can see the green screen remover. Just remove the green screen. Okay. Now back to edit page. Click this and go to inspector. Here you can see an option cropping. Just crop uh, the unwanted area from left, from right, bottom, and top. Now we get a footage without background. Uh, I'm going to export this. Uh, going to deliver. Here you can change the name. Uh, I give a name Apus. Her name is Apus. Okay. Now uh, I can change the format in export videos. Change the quick time to PNG sequence. Okay. Now we get a PNG sequence. Before that, you should confirm there is no noise in this background. Okay. Now change the location where we want the output. Uh, browse and uh, select a folder and click open. It's an important option. You should tick on the export alpha column. Without that, you can't get a transparent video. You get a black background image. Do the same in uh, Adobe After Effects. After exporting, you get an image sequence like this. Now I am going to open my project in Unreal Engine. This is one of my old projects I am using for many tutorial. Now we can place our video here uh, where we want. Uh, I think this is the best place. Uh, first up, open Control Browser. Here uh, I am creating a folder called Apus. Okay, open it and right click. Here you can add a media, image media source. Now double click that, uh, you get a window like this here. Here you can see an option sequence path. Click the three button and browse your media. You add a YouTube, Unreal Engine, Tute. Select this one and open. Here you can change your frame rate. Now we need to save this. Okay. Now close this window and add this footage here. Just drag and drop. And uh, change the size what we need. Just uh, 6. Now we can touch using this button. Click that. In here, we can see the video is playing. Okay. Now the position is not correct. Uh, we can uh, correct the position and enlarge it. I think 12 is enough for this footage. Now it's almost okay. Now we can render out this video. First up, we can add a camera for shooting this. Uh, get this plus button. Click the cinematic and add a cine camera actor. Now it focusing somewhere out. Uh, go to outliner then right click on cine camera actor 3. Click this option snap objective view. Now we can change the camera mode uh, here perspective. Click the perspective then uh, go to cine camera actor 3. Okay. Now zoom out. Now uh, I am going to create a video. Click this. Add a level sequence. Choose a folder and uh, rename it, then click save. Now we get a timeline like this. Add our camera here, camera 3. Okay, add to this point. In here, you can see an option for rendering out. Uh, you need a video out, just click here and movie scene capture as legacy. Now click here. 
you get an option like this uh, change your settings you want resolution frame rate uh, video out format and video output directory and just adding the stop okay open now capture the movie save the selected okay now the rendering is completed uh, we can open the file it's like this I hope you like this video, sorry for my poor English. Uh, if you like this, then please like, subscribe and share. See you soon in next video.